above knee amputation for high risk patients can be done under peripheral nerve block. We have to block the femoral, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, obturators, and the sciatic nerve, parasacral approach. The inguinal crease is 2 to 3 centimeters below the anterior superior iliac spine. And the linear probe is placed transversely at the midpoint of the inguinal crease. Take note of the fascia iliaca where deep to it is where we are going to deposit the local anesthetic. The femoral nerve can be seen lateral to the femoral artery. The skin wheel is placed at the puncture side. Needle visualization aided by hydro dissection and hydrolocation is done uh, to deposit the local anesthetic around the femoral nerve. Fifteen ml of local anesthetic is given in this area. Then slide the probe medially to locate the adductors. The anterior and posterior obturator nerves are located between the uh, longus and brevis, and brevis and magnus, respectively. The patient's abdomen is flabby. So it has to be retracted so to expose the skin puncture site. In blocking two structures, the deeper structure should be blocked first. In this case, the posterior obturator nerve should be blocked first for the anterior obturator nerve. Again, its location is between the adductor brevis and the adductor magnus muscle. Five cc of local anesthetic is deposited in its plane. For the next plane block, you don't have to take the needle out. You just have to redirect it superficially towards the plane between the adductor longus and the adductor brevis muscle. So that's the spread of the local anesthetic between the muscles. For the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve block, we have to slide the probe laterally, still within the femoral crease, until we appreciate the sartorius and the tensor fascia lata muscle. Five cc of local anesthetic is deposited in this area after skin wheel. You may or may not see the nerve, but it's okay. Visualization of local anesthetic spread in that area is enough indicator to block the nerve. We go now to the parasacral sciatic block. Take note of the most superior part of the natal cleft and draw a line 8 cm laterally and perpendicularly on the ipsilateral side. 
and place the convex probe transversely starting from the 8 cm mark. Here you will see the hyperechoic uh, structure which is the posterior ischial border and medially to it is your sciatic nerve. The needle will be traversing the gluteus maximus and the piriformis muscle before reaching the sciatic nerve. Medial to the nerve are your inferior gluteal vessels. So be careful not to give your local anesthetics intravascularly. Careful aspiration and incremental dosing is advised in giving local anesthetics in this area. Total volume of 20 ml consistently gives adequate anesthesia in this block. Allow 15 to 20 minutes for this block to take effect and your patient is now ready for surgery. Above knee amputation can now proceed in this high-risk patient even without giving general anesthesia or central block or your spinal or epidural anesthesia. Thank you very much. Good day and see you next surgery.